Hey guys, what's up? It's Jimmy, and today we're gonna be playing Freaky Forms. I don't have a better intro than that. I really just don't know how to preface it. Let's go! Freaky Forms was one of many new IPs released by Nintendo in the early years of the 3DS. They all launched on the eShop around the same time frame, and some of them, like Pushmo, gained some attention and would go on to have sequels. Freaky Forms, however, did not. I wonder why. The version I have here is the deluxe version, and I don't really know what this one has over the regular version of the game, but what I do know is that I don't really care. The goal of the game is to create a bunch of monsters and then just kinda go do stuff. The back of the box says that the possibilities are endless, which I don't believe, but I'm gonna go with it. The game starts off by just kinda giving you a planet. I was a bit stumped on what to name said planet, so I went to Twitter for help. And while I really liked Alberto's contribution, I'm gonna have to go with Jade Star XL's instead. It's beautiful. All right, it's time to give life to the creature of my wildest imagination. Let's dive right in. Or not, I guess. You'd think that this would be pretty self-explanatory, but apparently Nintendo thinks the exact opposite, because they give you tons of tutorial for just putting shapes on a grid. Why would you need that? Why are you offering hints? What kind of hints could you possibly give me? After about 10 minutes of fiddling around, I finally decided on how I wanted my first formy, yeah, no, we're gonna keep calling them monsters, to look. Oh my god, he's so cute, look at him. I'm gonna call him Julian. Favorite phrase, got it. Oh god, I guess I can give him his very own voice, but I don't think I want to. Happy sounds the least terrifying, so let's just go with that. Jesus, stop doing that. Julian's so thankful that we brought him to life that he's gonna give us a tour of our planet. Oh my god, look at him walk, it's so stupid and cute. Julian, you've stolen my heart already. Oh boy, a treasure chest. Let's unlock it with this key, conveniently placed right over there. A tree. There was a tree in there. Wait, we can change how it looks? This should be very fun. Yay, a purple tree! I'm creating! <laughs> Julian, what, how did you lay an egg? How did you do that? Why did that mushroom make a rainbow egg? After you finish a quest, if you can even call that a quest, we just shed out eggs, you can hatch the eggs that your monster laid. And then your monster goes to rest in the sanctuary. Apparently, if I make four more monsters, something will happen. And I really want to know what that something is, because nothing's really happened so far, and I'm kind of getting bored. <laughs> Meet Susan. She has wings. What's this? Another treasure chest? I hope it's another tree. Oh, snap! It's an everything! I can even color it. Looks pretty good, right? We found another treasure chest and there was a beach ball inside this one, but Susan's tired and we didn't get to play with it. Thanks a lot, Susan. My next monster's name is Corny. Say hello, Corny. He's a, He's a train, I think. This is Jennifer. I forgot to give her legs. And lastly, meet Kyle. He's my biggest regret. While I was out with Kyle, we ran into Susan and she asked us to help her out by giving her a lift to a nearby flag, which I call bullshit on because Susan, I gave you wings, you can fly. Oh my god, it's finally time to see something happen. We made all five monsters. Oh, oh, so here we go. go. Yes, 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 Susan. Oh, looks like we have more ground to cover now. I guess that's something. I'm starting to think that this game is a little bit below my age demographic because my next quest is to just go eat some tomatoes. It's just to go eat lunch. Thankfully, it looks like all that hard work helped fill up our next heart, so we can make another monster. Meet Dill. He's ready to fuck shit up. I think I like Dill the most already, because when I went exploring with him, we found a dungeon. Finally, something happened. I played for an hour and a half, and there is finally a game for me to play. Upon entering the dungeon, we're greeted by King Roy, who is captured almost instantly by some evil monsters. I guess it's up to me and Dill Dill to save him, but if we're fighting things like Bianca over here, I don't think it's gonna be too hard. Will Dill become the champion of the Meadow Dungeon? Not if Guillermo has anything to say about it. What? What is happening? This is it. The fight to end all fights. Dill does a little dance. Guillermo attacks. He's dead, I think? Yeah, he's dead. Oh, 
Oh, he's very dead. I was hoping that this would be enough action to refill all of our hearts, that way we could create some new monsters and expand the world again to find more dungeons. But even after all of that, I wasn't even done filling up one heart yet. I went and checked on how long it'll take for it to fill up, and it said I need about an hour per heart. Which, if I wanted to make four more monsters, I'd need to wait four real hours to do that. I waited about 20 minutes, and then it finally sunk in how much of a waste of time it would be if I kept kept going. Why would they add this restriction in? It- what does it help? It doesn't. It doesn't help anything. That's what it doesn't do. All I wanted to do was make a bunch of weird looking shit and then have a good time. But you know what? I guess we're not doing that today because this fucking- this sucks. This is stupid. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then hit the like button. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe too because I'd love you forever if you did. Except I, I don't know you, so probably not, but it's the thought that counts, right? Check out the videos on screen right now, they're pretty funny too. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time with more videos. Bye!